When it comes to bikers, there is no shortage of stereotypes out there. Over the years, adventure bikers in particular have gained a reputation for being the soccer moms of the motorcycle world, since we apparently never ride our bikes for their intended purpose. If you don't believe me, then check out the article I've provided a link to in the video description below. Of course, like most stereotypes, this is mainly born out of ignorance. I mean, obviously the general public only get to see us riding our bikes when we're on our way to the shops and not actually when we're riding out in the wilderness. So it's a lazy stereotype, even if it is only meant to poke a bit of fun. Regardless, there are definitely certain types of rider that I've encountered during my years as an adventure rider. Odds are that you have or will encounter them too. So just for fun, here's a rundown of no less than 20 adventure biker stereotypes. Number 1. The teacher. First up is the guy who just wants to teach everyone everything. To be fair, this is the stereotype I probably fit into if any. This guy is so passionate about adventure biking that he'll spend hours lecturing you on the tiniest details, whether it's regarding your technique, the best routes or any kind of adventure bike ever. He's well-meaning and very informative, if a little overbearing at times, though I try not to be. Number 2. The Natural Next is the person who has never ridden before, yet the very first time you take him or her off-road, they make it look ridiculously easy. They're a natural on the bike, and it's equally impressive and annoying at the same time that they've managed to show you up along with your veteran buddies in an instant. They make it seem like you're an extra, and they're the main character. It's a humbling experience, but you have to appreciate their God-given talent. Number 3. The Measurer The Measurer is a guy who lives by his odometer. He can tell you at the drop of a hat how many miles or kilometers he's done on his bike in total, and he will tell you often. Expect to be asked the question as well, and whether you know your own mileage or not. If it's more than his, you'll probably have to deal with his passive-aggressive nature for the rest of the night. It's almost like he's trying to set a high score for kilometers traveled before he shuffles off this mortal coil. Number 4. The Dirt Addict Someone who would adamantly oppose the soccer mom stereotype is the Dirt Addict. This guy believes that only dirt will ever touch his tires and he is insulted at the suggestion that his bike will ever ride on tarmac with the commoners. A dirt addict will plot the most outrageous routes just to avoid the blacktop. His comfort zone is off-road and that's where he's staying. Number 5. The Ambitionist Then there's The Ambitionist. This is the adventure rider who fancies himself as the next Chris Birch and is willing to take these big girls where small 250s fear to tread. Sometimes his ambition pays off and will leave you amazed. A lot of the time, however, his courage is exposed as foolishness and you'll be the one helping to pull his bike out of a hedge or ditch. It's always fun to have someone like this around though, and they tend to push your limits to make you better too. Number 6. The Easy Rider Of course, not everyone is an adrenaline junkie and the Easy Rider is someone who really, if ever, strays off the tarmac. They do have a sense of adventure, but they also appreciate comfort, and if there's a long, flat road where they can cruise to their destination, then there's no need to think twice. Also, why not use your adventure bike to nip to Starbucks if you want? It's still the best way to get there. Number 7. The Boaster You'll find this kind of person in all walks of life. In terms of adventure riding, they're the ones who brag about how good they are or how much experience they have. Yet, when you actually go out riding with them, they're the one who ends up holding up the group because they have no idea what they're doing. There's no sense in arguing with their delusions. All you can do is shake your head and chuckle amongst yourselves. Number 8. The Salesman Similar to the boaster, this rider will spend ages selling you the idea that their favorite brand of bike, be it light or heavy, two-stroke or four-stroke, is the best only to end up falling on their sword when you find out they've never even tried the alternatives. The bike they have chosen is the absolute mecca for adventure riding. It's like banging your head against a brick wall trying to convince them otherwise. Number 9. The Excuse Maker Then there's the biker who just absolutely sucks at riding but will never admit it. It's always either the tires, the suspension, the hangover or a multitude of other excuses as long as you aren't questioning his ability. Of course, he rides like Graham Jarvis when you're not around. Didn't you know? Only, he doesn't, because all your friends and colleagues have commented on how he sucks too. Not that you don't admire his effort and tenacity though. Number 10. The Lone Wolf Some people just prefer riding alone, and while there's nothing wrong with that at all, the Lone Wolf is a rider who's notorious for going off on his own and waiting for no man, even when riding as part of a group. This can be frustrating, especially if he's the one holding all the food and essential supplies. However, you should know not to leave them with him by now because he does this every single time. Number 11. The Retired Racer Every now and again you might come across an older rider who everyone knows used to race, despite it being over 20 years ago. 
because he loves to remind people about it. Not just with his words either, he'll try turning everything into a race and compete against you just to prove that he's still got it. You can either indulge him or ignore him, but there's no dampening his competitive spirit. Number 12. The Old Knight In a similar fashion, the Old Knight is an adventure rider who's been doing it since long before it even became popular. He's seen a lifetime of riding and is now well advanced in his years. He's so old that you worry if he'll keep up on the next ride or if he'll even be able to complete it. Then you feel foolish for worrying, as he not only finishes but does so without even breaking a sweat, all while you are looking for a comfy spot to take a nap. Number 13. The Mother Hen If you have a concern and need some help or advice without being judged or lectured, you can always turn to the Mother Hen of the group. This is the rider who wants to take care of the group and ensure that everyone is safe and having a good time. They might not be the most talented or most adventurous rider, but they're the glue that keeps the group sticking together. Number 14. A Naturist The next biker is the epitome of the phrase, a good worker never blames his tools. The naturist believes that everything is down to the rider and has nothing at all to do with which bike they're riding. Their mindset is all about the adventure itself and being in control. Probably not the best person to turn to if you have an issue with your bike, but you can most certainly learn a lot about body positioning and technique from them. Number 15. The Mechanist The opposite of the naturist is the mechanist. For this guy, it's all about the machine. They are likely to have a great depth of knowledge about bikes and can talk endlessly about tire choices, suspension setup or any aspect of a motorcycle. Their experience centers entirely around what they're riding, fully believing that the best and usually most expensive gear makes them a better rider. Number 16. The Gadget Man Closely associated with the mechanist is the Gadget Man. As his name suggests, the biker just has to have all of the latest gadgets and gizmos to be satisfied and confident. He has a lot of faith in technology and will probably be lost without it. Again, expect lots of up-to-date knowledge from this rider, but be prepared to sift through a lot of excess information nice and thing. tools you probably will never need. Number 17. Nice the thing. Lifter The Lifter is probably the bodybuilder or gym goer of the group. They favor heavy bikes but will never admit that it is, at times, actually quite heavy. After all, they can't show any weakness and you better not offer to help pick up their bike after a fall. They've got this. They've always got this. Still, at least they'll never refuse to carry your stuff if you ask them. Just be prepared to be mocked by them for not carrying it yourself. Number 18. The Storyteller Gather around the campfire and come listen to this rider who is full of tales of his extreme adventures. He is the Storyteller. Somehow, his stories all seem very familiar and that's when you realize it's the same story he's told a thousand times before, just with extra details that make it seem more intense yet unrealistic. I guess we'll never know what really happened on his trip to Timbuktu. Number 19. The Upgrader Next comes the guy who is never satisfied with his ride. He always has to upgrade to the latest model as soon as it's launched since he believes he has outgrown and hit the limits of his current model with his incredible skills. Of course, we all know that his expensive habit is hiding some sort of insecurity, but it's great for you as you get to see the newest hardware up close. Number 20. The Reckless Enthusiast And finally, we have the Reckless Enthusiast. This is the type of guy who has just learned power sliding from the teacher of the group and now uses it on every single corner, showering you with pebbles, rocks and debris in the process. You have to admire his enthusiasm and excitement, but I swear if he does that one more time, I hope you enjoyed this tongue-in-cheek style of video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and leave a comment as to whether yourself or any riders you know fit into any of these stereotypes. No judgments will be passed here, it's just a bit of harmless fun. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications. I've got some more information and entertaining videos on the way soon, so make sure you don't miss out. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.